Hey guys, this is Mike with Mike's Fish Room. Today I'm going to be telling you about a collection I did of Rivulus Collieri back in 2020. So in January that year, I boarded the Esperanza in Iquitos, Peru. Our destination was the Rio Maizan and to get there we traveled downstream on the Amazon before heading up the Napo. Along the way we stopped at a location known to have Rivulus. This location is approximately 32 miles downstream. Here we docked our boat at Yanamono's Rum Distillery, uh, a location that they regularly stop at. Approximately 200 feet off the banks of the river was a pond divided into two sections. Here you can see the wooded section in the back. And, and here we didn't catch too much. Along this trip, other rivulous locations, uh, they were located in dense forest and small puddles and leaf litter. Uh, here. They weren't. So we didn't actually find Rivulus back in these uh, darker areas in the trees. Instead, the front half of the pond was an open field with water in it. And this is where we had some success. Now, these fish are small. Uh, the ones we were catching were anywhere between half an inch and three quarters of an inch. Uh, in the tank, I mean one inch is really the max I would see. Um, most of the scoops would pull up a few fish, but the, the real difficult part here was not actually catching the fish, but it was instead the spiders. In this video you can hear me whining about it. Oh, these spiders jump. Get out. This explains the extended time it takes me from pulling the net out to actually grabbing the fish. Uh, I'm not a big fan of spiders. I'm not necessarily too scared, but when there's 50 of them in your net, it uh, makes you a little slower at pulling them out. Now the conductivity of these ponds was very low, and almost every location we collected was less than 30 or 40. I don't remember the exact values. And the water temperatures were high, um, 85 or so. These were in full sunlight. Around six pairs were kept and brought back to the United States. They bred easily and I was able to pass on quite a few pairs. I believe three or four people are still maintaining them in 2023. Here you can see them in my tanks. I really hope you enjoyed. Please come again.